Now to the fallout from former President Trump's conviction in the hush money trial. CNBC political finance reporter Brian Schwartz uh, reports that Trump is unlikely to lose the support of Republican mega donors uh, as a result of the verdict. Uh, I was picking Brian's brain already. Brian joins us now to see if you had any. Uh, you can drive a truck through the numbers you gave me about last night. Um, the, the, the website did go, I guess it went down, the Trump That's fundraising right. website. From, from, but you, it could be 20 million, could be 50, yeah, could I be mean, 50 million. I'll say this, you know, what a night for you know, Donald Trump for a variety of reasons. You know, yeah. we, we had the, the guilty verdict. And then, you know, within hours, you know, he starts raising money at a clip. I mean, it, it got to a point where... Uh, his fundraising website uh, crashed. The, the website the Republicans use called Win Red, right? So it crashed uh, because of the amount of money. That's what the Trump people say uh, was going to him post the guilty verdict. And you know what I'm hearing is that their estimates run, uh, you know, running around Trump world of exactly how much uh, they raised. People are saying anywhere from 10 to 20 to even maybe 50 million dollars post the verdict, and that would be an extraordinary amount of money if, in fact, that's what they end up announcing that they, that they raise. And, and uh, I think it's just a tell from the story that we ran yesterday of exactly what's going on here with the Republican mega donor, Republican-leading business leader, and where they're at coming into this morning and their views on this verdict. And they're not necessarily criticizing Trump for the verdict. They're doubling and tripling down in some cases. And you think that's from the mega donors, though? It's from the mega donors. It's also from small. It's also from small donors. The folks that were on the website yesterday were not the mega donors. Well, this is not exactly right either. What I what I spoke to people. So I spoke to different consultants um, who work with people who are very wealthy in and around this town and across the country. And there was somebody who was telling me that you know you can go online and you can give to these various Trump-related committees. And we'll get into that another day. Uh, you know, it's six figures. And this person was telling me he hadn't received this amount of calls and outreach to work with these donors to get their money onto the website and process that money toward Donald Trump. And that's really remarkable. I mean, this is somebody who's been working this circuit, for instance, right. for years. You saw Ackman, Scott, you saw Elon Musk, you saw David Sachs, well, you saw Ackman all those. actually and they may come out and endorse him. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, so the, the, uh, what we're hearing, again, this is all, again, ironically, we, we, we ran that story yesterday. We've been hearing over the last few days into the buildup of this right. guilty verdict uh, that Bill Ackman was likely to support Donald Trump. Uh, and leaning in toward him, and that he hadn't made it a final decision yet. But we had, we have seen. He was I think he was speaking yep. to you at, at, at Squawk. We said months ago. You, but, taking aim at Biden. Brian, you know the the uh, totals because there was a big gap between what Trump had in the bank and what what Biden had in the bank. Yeah. So so when we ended April, when we, when we wrapped up April, you know, Trump and the RNC announced that they had raised you know, north of seventy million in that month alone. Biden and the DNC had, it had announced, combined with their political operation, that they raised a little bit over $50 million. Okay. So, so you, know, you know, up until this point, you know, Trump has started to slowly surge back into the fundraising game against, against Biden. And, and there's for a variety of, of reasons why donors are starting to give more and more. Wealthier donors, small dollar donors. Well, and is your sense that the, the base of donors is spreading, so there's more donors? Or is it the same group of people who are doubling down? I think it's a little bit of both. I think there are people who are slowly coming off the sidelines uh, who were you know, maybe necessarily not sold on Trump during the Republican primary process or uh, post-January 6, 2021. We're kind of back to that again, right? Some of these very same people who are going around saying, you know, I can't believe what happened on January 6th, someone blaming Trump publicly or privately, are now coming back. And then there are people who have always, always been in this camp who are doubling down, uh, to, to your point, who are giving more and more and more um, in, in part, uh, a reaction to this verdict that, that took place yesterday. Betting sites initially flip completely. Right, Not that it basically, matters. Basically, they're basically at the same place. Seems now like. they're back to the same place. Yeah. But they had flipped, and Biden was up by four or five. But, you know, it's thin trading. It, it doesn't necessarily. But just to, as a measure to gauge the. Uh, the sentiment. What's the polls it? are all over the place too. Right. Like the polls, well, well, even the snap polls that were taken last night on some of these things. I well, that's right. To say I, who it's going to change. Well, that's right. It's really unclear how this verdict is going to change anybody's vote, if if anyone at all. I mean, this is the whole the question mark now uh, for for Joe Biden, the Democrats. I mean, how far do they go with using this 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 result? Uh, in court against Donald Trump. Is that really a, a tactic they want to use? Could it backfire them? Because I don't know how many Americans are really sitting back and caring about what, what took place there. I mean, I'm sure there are people. I'm just saying in terms of the polls and the people in the, in the key states of Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin.